Your accessories are the frosting to your look, so you want to make sure it's done just right. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're with stylist Alexandra at the Bay to learn all about the do's and don'ts of accessorizing. When we say accessories, what are we referring to? Well, what comes to mind first are jewelry, shoes, scarves. But don't forget there's also lipstick and hair. Hair can change the outfit completely. Are there any basic guidelines to follow when accessorizing? I can give you a few tips. If you have large calves, on your shoes you shouldn't have the smallest heel. You should have something that balances your body. If you want to elongate your torso because you have a voluptuous breast, you might want to go for a longer necklace instead of something that's closer to the neck. So there are tricks and tips, but rules not necessarily. Are accessories always a must? It depends. We're going to show you some looks and sometimes less is more. But some Sometimes less is not enough. You have to make one focal point in the outfit and you should focus there. If it's the neckline, for example, you can achieve it with ruffles, you can achieve it with necklace. So do you think you can go and show us the do's and don'ts now? Yes, absolutely. Let's go. Now we're looking at two formal options. This one with the long skirt is super appropriate if you have a black tie event or even a white tie event. This is maybe the oldest way to pair it. It's very classic, a little boring in my opinion. On this side, we're going with sequins and some people are stopping themselves because they think, oh, it's too hard to match. I don't know what to do with a sequin skirt. I will show you. Obviously, Pairing different types of sequin might not be the best option. This top would be amazing with a tuxedo satin black pant, but not with a sequin skirt. And with too much going on on the shoes as well, it takes away from the skirt. So we will show you the best way to mix and match your skirts. Ta-da! So this is very fresh. It's Carolina Herrera inspired. You lift the collar, pull up the sleeves, Add a chain belt or something a little more young, a little more up to date. It looks very masculine, feminine, edgy. Perfect. And on this side with Veronica, we have the boyfriend jacket, which is a must have this season. The ruffle top in a soft, silky fabric. And the accent is a sequin skirt. So no need to go with any other accessories. The next two outfits are perfect for cocktail parties. They're full on cocktail attire. If you look at this magnificent zebra dress, it's already an, an asymmetrical neckline. So going with a scarf, even though the blue matches perfectly the print, might not be your best option. The shoes are also very edgy, so we'll come back with the right accessory for this one. With my friend Veronica here, we did a Barbie cocktail sheet dress in pink, but we paired it in a way that's too matchy-matchy. It won't make any contrast, it won't make any statement, and it just looks bland. Okay, so now what we did, we added a little bit of rock and roll to the Barbie look with an F. Gravel scarf, the bangles, and instead of a nylon, we're going for an opaque black tight, which is much more bold, much younger. And here with the zebra dress, we have only earrings. We don't want to emphasize the wild thing too much, so we're going with a classy black rhinestone. It's fresh and elegant. 